Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, again, an amazing video. I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip. I'm going to talk about Trump and Biden, even about Ethereum. Yes, I'm going to answer a question of one of the followers. Of course, also looking at the news of today. And yes, ending the video again with a beautiful inspirational quote while I'll walk in my beautiful neighborhood. I'm going to leave the house onto the streets. Guys, let's quickly jump into the charts to show show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin and Ethereum today. Bam! The first chart for the day, guys, again, that four hour chart still waiting for a buy signal over here. Of course, we saw that sell signal waiting for a new buy signal. We can see the blue line crossing that red line. Uh, we can see the blue and the yellow decreasing a little bit. The green line starts to get to the top over here. So it won't take very long before we will see that buy signal. You need to be patient when you trade the four hour chart. If you want to trade uh, the shorter time frames, go to the 15 minutes, for example. Over here, you sell over there, you buy over there, you sell over there. So you have more sell and buy signals when you go and zoom in a little bit. Now, if we zoom out, that's what I prefer to do to the daily chart. We can see that uh, there's something really cool happening. First of all, I'm going to look at that RSI here at the bottom. At the moment, we can see that we bottom out at a 30 level over there. Now, let's look back to the previous time when that happened uh, in history. And it was over here, August 2023. That is when we went below that 30 level. At that time, we were at the price of around 25k. When we bottomed out over there, we went sideways for a lot of days. We can calculate it over here, let's say. We went bottoming out below the 30 over there and we recovered, fully recovered somewhere over there. So that took almost 25 bars. That's 25 days before we recovered and we went up. So that's a 25 day sideways movement. It took even longer. I think that the complete sideways movement took from here till there. So that's 60 bars, two months sideways before we started to top out above that uh, 70 level again. In the RSI so when we went up over here when we did that we went all the way from 30k to 70k that's a huge huge run so now again we are bottoming out at that level there will now be a moment that we will see a reversal in the market uh, in this purple line of the RSI to go to that 70 level again and that will mean that we will have a massive run and if you look at the price yes of course the price as well we can see now that over here, that trend line that I drew, that dotted blue line, we are finding support that we need to keep that as support. If we break through it, we will fall back again to those lower 57, 56k levels over there. And we could even go to that 52k level as the next support that people are asking for. But if we look at our ZI, we did already bottom out, we are coming up, we are retesting and then probably taking off. And that will mean the price will take off as well. Now, some more interesting charts. The first one. In this one, you can see, you know, we all started over here with 50 Bitcoins being created every 10 minutes. We went to 25 at the first halving to 12.5 at the second, at the third halving to 6.5, 6.25, sorry. And now we went to 3.125 new Bitcoins created every 10 minutes. We will lead into 656,250 Bitcoins between 2024 and 28. We are just at the beginning of the halving now. Just like we were here at the beginning of the halving. Look how high we went after that. Just like we were here at the beginning of the halving. Look how high we went after it. Just like we were here at the beginning of the halving. Look how high we went after it. We went all the way up. Now we are here again. We have the possibility to go all the way up to these levels. So these moments over here, that sideways moment that we saw over there as well, check how sideways we went. Just I want to make it a little bit bigger, look, sideways, around that midline of 10k, bam, flew up. Here as well, sideways for a couple of months before we go, bam, flew up. Here as well, sideways. This sideways move is the boring part. And it feels boring and that boringness will make you lose attention to Bitcoin and will make you forget to invest in Bitcoin. But I'm here to wake you up. This part where you feel bored is the part you need to be buying because there will be a bull run. If you would have used, for example, Plan B's uh, model, the stock to flow model, he is saying every time when you buy BTC six months before the halving and sell them 18 months after the halving, 
you will have outperformed hodling Bitcoin. This blue line is the price when you hodl Bitcoin. So you would now be at the price of today, 61K. This green over here is when you bought six months before the halving and sold 18 months after the halving. Your portfolio would have now been worth almost the double. So yes, buying six months before the halving, selling 18 months after the halving is more profitable than just hodling. And if you do it the other way around, yeah, you're not doing that pretty well because then uh, your value would have been decreasing. Uh, so yes, the best way is to buy a little bit before the halving and sell 18 months after the halving, which is also again an indication 18 months after this halving will be around the top of the bull market. And now you calculate what 18 months after the halving, what date would we be? Also, when we look at the realized price, it is a very important price level. And especially when we look to the five months realized price, the short term hodler. The five months realized price, that light blue line, has been support throughout these bull markets. Can you see this over here? Every dot is a month, by the way. But every time we find support on that light blue line, over here as well, in this bull market, that five months short term hodler realized price is support through and with resistance in the bear market. In this bull market also, every time we kept above that light blue line, we are above that light blue line. This dot will close in the end of May. And now the question is, will we again find support on that light blue line? That light blue line at the moment is around 60,000 US dollar. So the five month realized price is 60,000 US dollar. Amazing level to keep support on before we take off to higher prices in Bitcoin. It's very important that you realize you need to zoom out. We are just getting started. This boring phase where we go sideways is the phase you should be investing into Bitcoin. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. And I know it is very difficult for you to believe that we could double in the Bitcoin price in the next 12 to 18 months. But if we look into history, every time again and again, ooh, I turned dark, uh, it happened. Every time after the halving, the Bitcoin price doubled. And sometimes it only took like two months, sometimes three months. And maybe this time it will take 12 months. It doesn't matter to me. I believe in Bitcoin. I believe that Bitcoin is going to double in price. Just if you ask me to invest in Bitcoin today, I can only answer it's the best investment that you can do. There is no other asset that you can invest in today to double in price within 12 months. It's just very hard to find these kinds of assets that are also trustable. Like Bitcoin, it has been integrated in the full monetary system all over the world. It's been traded on the CME, it's been trading as spot ETFs, it's been trading 24-7 on exchanges, crypto exchanges, official exchanges. All over the world, people are talking about Bitcoin and we are still just there with like maybe 10% of the world using Bitcoin. Is nothing. The adoption is just getting started among the institutional investors. And when more and more people get access in a simplified way to Bitcoin, for example, through their banking app or whatever is going to happen, more and more people will start to buy Bitcoin. And that's just going to lead to a huge supply shock as there will be less and less and less Bitcoins available and more demand, demand, demand. And when there is not enough supply, to meet that demand, there will be a supply shock which will lead to a huge increase of the price. And the halvings are just every four year cycle a moment that we get that supply shock around that halving. So short term, all beautiful. Yes, you can buy Bitcoin again at 61K. You're getting buying opportunities every time again and again and again. And you're still doubting every time again and again. Should I wait to 52K? Maybe we drop to 52K. Maybe drop to 57K. Yes, you're buying 10K cheaper. Do you really think that you care about this when Bitcoin goes to 200K or 150K? That you have 10K less profits on that full Bitcoin that you buy? I don't think you will care. So for me, it's very simple. At the moment, you should just be buying Bitcoin every day, adding to your portfolio. Don't doubt, zoom out. 10K looks a lot at the moment, but maybe in the far future, it's nothing if you compare then to that Bitcoin price. So for me, always zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in life, buy as much as possible during all these dips. The trading tip for today, guys, is that sometimes the news can influence the price. But it's just like sometimes. For example, now, 
Grayscale announced that they are withdrawing their Spot ETF approval. So they don't even want to launch the Ethereum Spot ETF anymore. Yes, you might have thought I would talk very positive about Ethereum. As I said in the beginning, hey, I'm going to talk about Ethereum. But it's about the fact that Grayscale doesn't want to launch a Spot ETF anymore. So at those moments, people will start to look to short Ethereum. If Ethereum bounces now with 3%, around $350 million worth of Ethereum shorts will be liquidated. And that again will lead, of course, to an increase of the Ethereum price. So there's two ways to trade this. You can trade it by shorting Ethereum, but you need to get out on the right moment, or you wait for that moment that the price crashes and you long Ethereum exactly at those levels where a lot of people are being liquidated. Whew, steep climb over here, guys, but still a beautiful view, check. So it's very important that sometimes, yes, the news can influence the price. And at this moment, Grayscale withdrawing their spot ETF. What does that say to all the other companies that want to launch a spot ETF? I've heard, for example, Michael Saylor say, hey, that spot ETF for Ethereum is never going to happen. I heard even more people say, hey, that spot ETF for Ethereum is never going to happen. So if that is not going to happen, will that drop the Ethereum price a little bit more? Or will Ethereum just continue to climb as it always does during the bull market? So what I'm saying is there's a lot of noise around Ethereum. So in those moments, make sure you have your trades set in the right way. So the trading tip for the day, yes, sometimes the news can influence the price. Normally, I would say only TA. But in these moments that huge news comes out about Ethereum not becoming a spot ETF in Grayscale could, of course, influence the price. As you probably already heard on my voice, yes, I have a sore throat a little bit, so a little bit sick, maybe a little bit too much alcohol the last weekend, which affected, of course, my immune system and which, of course, makes you sick every time again and again. That's why I need to stop drinking too much alcohol sometimes. I'm not drinking that much anymore, guys, but the travel tip for the day, while I'll stand here in between all these kick-ass villas, and yes, I look down also on kick-ass villas, the travel tip for today is a lot of people want to travel and stay in these beautiful houses, but they think they can't afford this. There is websites that can help you with this. One of those websites is trustedhousesitters.com. We have used that website a few times in the beginning of our travels when we wanted to hold as much as possible bitcoins. We didn't want to spend those bitcoins because the first cycle you don't want to spend those bitcoins, you will hold as much as possible. And at that time we used trustedhousesitters.com because at that moment you could house it house it, some houses, and if you took care of their pets. So these kick-ass villas, they might have cats or dogs or whatever they have, and they sometimes also want to go on holiday for two weeks or even a month. And in those periods, they are searching for trusted house sitters, and you will be able to live in this house completely for free as long as you take care of their pets or of the house. So on this website, I don't have a referral link. I, we had one in the past, but I don't know that one anymore, but maybe it's somewhere down in the description. I don't know for sure, but trustedhousesitters.com gives you the possibility, if you don't have the funds, to still stay in these kick-ass houses. Mostly they are a little bit inland or mostly a beautiful sea view, as long as you take care of their pets. It can be horses, it can be goats, it can be sheep, it can be cats, it can be dogs, it can be a lizard, a tarantula, a snake, whatever it is. As long as you take care of those animals, you're able to stay for free in that house, sometimes even use the car, the bicycles, etc. So if you're looking to travel, but you don't want to spend too many bitcoins, for example, discover websites like trustedhousesitters.com. There will be many more, I don't know all of them, but we have used that one and it really worked in a perfect way. Answering one of the questions from the followers, the question was, Didi, how much percentage of your portfolio will you exchange to stablecoins at the top? And can I do this without sending my stablecoins from a hardware wallet, a ledger, for example, or for the Bitbox, to an exchange? To answer the first part, normally we only exchange like 30 to 40% into stablecoins. We always used exchanges because we never doubted those exchanges. Yeah, there's always an exchange that can collapse, but not at the bull market top. It will only mostly happen at the bear market bottom. So at the moment, this bull market, we are probably going to do 50 to 60%. So 40 to 50% will definitely stay 
on my hardware wallets, on my cold storage, as I believe that Bitcoin is the best asset out there. So I don't need to exchange all my Bitcoins anymore because we have enough Bitcoin. So we're not in the first cycle, this is our third cycle. So when you're in your third cycle, okay, it's not like you're forced anymore to multiply your capital in a huge way as your capital is already pretty nice. So the answer is yes, this time we will do a little bit more because I believe it will be a huge bull market with a blow off top. And yes, I want to take the maximum profit. So that will be like 50 to 60%. I will exchange it to stable coins. And the second answer on your question is yes, you don't need to send them to exchanges anymore as we have enough decentralized protocols, also exchanges like Apex Pro. I've talked about this exchange yesterday as well, but because of these decentralized exchanges like Apex Pro, you see the link down below. Please use that link to sign up. You need to support me as well because I'm making this content every day for you guys. So if you sign up to Apex Pro, use these links down below. But these exchanges like Apex Pro make it possible for you to connect your hardware wallet, your ledger or whatever wallet that you're using to an exchange and trade from that wallet. So you will be able to exchange your Bitcoins or Ethereums into USDT without sending them to an external exchange. You will keep full custody and control on your wallets while doing so. So to sum up the answer, if this is your first cycle and you need to multiply your capital, I would maybe even step out with 100%, you know, 100% into stable coins. And I preferable would use a decentralized protocol like Apex Pro. And I think Apex Pro with the Omni update is gonna be the best option out there to exchange your Bitcoins, Ethereum, or any other token into stable coins without the need of sending them to an exchange. So yes, in a very anonymous way. So the first step you should be taking now is signing up to Apex Pro with the link down below. And then we get to the news for today, guys. And the news for today is pretty funny because Trump just said in his presentation, hey, you know, guys, if you are for crypto, you need to vote Trump because Biden doesn't even know what crypto is. And it was really funny because Trump is always pretending to be Biden, like, oh, get me off stage. I don't know what crypto is. <laughs> and I really think that he is right. I don't think that uh, Biden even know what crypto is. Biden is almost like dead. He's like really too old to be into the crypto business in my honest opinion. And if he knows, he knows probably because the Chinese or whatever country want to send him, uh, you know, a shitload of money to uh, money launder it. And then they use crypto through the laptop of Hunter Biden, something like that. Maybe that's how they understood crypto a little bit, you know, how they could still receive shitloads of money from uh, outside of the United States without using American banks. Uh, maybe that's how they understand what crypto is. But Trump just announced, hey guys, if you are for crypto please please vote for trump because i'm gonna make sure that america loves crypto again you know i, I don't want to fight against crypto i know and I understand that crypto is good i just only want to make it safe and beautiful industry that everyone can enjoy but Biden is going to be against it because he even doesn't know, understands what crypto is. So that was really funny news. So uh, I will keep track on the news, how that will evolve. I do believe that Trump is a little bit more pro crypto because he's an entrepreneur. He knows how to run businesses and he also knows how to store his value. He also knows how to store his capital as he's one of the richest people, I think, from the United States. He needs to protect his capital against inflation. And I think he has used gold and other assets for that. And he also will understand now that Bitcoin is also a perfect store of value for his capital. So yes, if I would live in the United States, I would probably already voted for Trump only for that reason, guys. So the news for the day, Trump says that Biden doesn't know shit about crypto. And then we get to the last part of the video, guys, the inspirational part. Uh, the inspirational part today has to do with a lot of people running into a lot of problems during their lives. And they always try to solve their problems within themselves like in a very difficult way like they are confronting themselves every day by worrying by discussing with themselves like two voices all those brain parts communicating completely with each other not even knowing anymore what to believe or what to think but for me on those moments that i was in those moments and i was there i had a huge burnout i had these issues in the past when i had my companies etc an eagle view always helped trying to look at your life from the top just look at yourself, look at your environment, look at your company from the outside. Don't stay in your company, go sit at the other side of the river and the mountain or whatever there is and look to your company and try to solve the problems at that moment. Because when you're always inside, you will never be able to solve all those issues or those problems that you're running into. The moment you step outside 
and you look from the outside at those problems, they seem really small. They seem very simple to solve. And I think that's very important for people to understand that it is important whenever you're running into trouble, whenever you're running into an issue, whenever you're running into a decision that you're unable to make, try to step out, look it from another direction and let go. So the moment you let go of that problem and look at it from a distance, just pretend to be an eagle, just pretend to be flying in the sky, looking at your problem. You will see yourself walking among billions of people they're all worrying, they're all having their dips and their ups and their troubles, and they're all living life, as life will always go on. But the moment you zoom out and you look at yourself from that perspective, and if you see how small you are, then you also realize how small your problems are. And then mostly from that ego view, you will be able to solve those issues. I think such an ego view will make you feel calm, detached, and grateful for the journey of your life, for the life that you have been living. And I think that's very important that people start to understand that. Be thankful for the life that you're living. Be thankful for the problems that are thrown in front of you. Because when you solve them, you grow as a person. And in my opinion, this ego view will help you tremendously when you're too zoomed in, too zoomed in on your issues. I always say zoom in on life. That means zoom in on enjoying your life to the fullest. It doesn't mean zoom in into all your issues, into all your problems and try to solve it like minute to minute every day. Zoom out. Look at that bigger picture of life as well. How old are you going to be? Are you going to reach 80 or 90? Are you 40? Then you still have 40 years of life. And in those 40 years of life, you need to make sure you live that life to the fullest in the way that you want to live life. But it all starts with such an ego view. Look at yourself. We are just small human beings running around on this globe and we are part from a huge universe. If we are this small, then our problems must be even more small, tiny. Don't try to focus too much on that. Take that ego view, become calm, become detached of your problem. Become grateful for the journey of your life. And from that, you start to live life and then all your problems will be solved automatically. Don't focus too much on what you want to solve. Sometimes you need to let go to be able to solve it. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about fly like an eagle? Yes, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.